Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Taslima Maya Art. It's lovely to have you here. If you're new here, do check out my other video tutorials. And if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe, like and share buttons for me or leave a comment. This will help me create more video content and keep this channel growing. In today's video tutorial for the Fluid Art Express, I will be showing you how I created this beautiful ocean beach swipe. You will see how I experiment with structure paste to create the sand. So this is part one of a two part series and I'll be showing you how to mix your paints, apply structure paste for the beach texture and pour your paint and finally how to swipe. In part two coming next week I'll be showing you how to embellish your pour to make it look truly magnificent. So let's get messy. Hi everyone. Um, this I have here is a 30 centimeter or 12 inch diameter um, canvas. Um, it's uh, an Arteza canvas. Okay, so very good quality actually um, and kind of deep edged as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to do a beach pour. Okay, so I haven't really done one of those before as such. I've done a wave pour, as you've seen from my last video, and this one is going to be slightly different with a um, bit of a twist to it. So let's start with my paints. Now, I'm using two different recipes to mix my paints. So I'm doing the sandy part of the beach to begin with, and I've got these colours here, and I just want to show you the consistency. It's very runny, it goes straight back in, as you can see and you can um, see uh, it's really very fluid okay so this um, mixture here these four colors which I'm going to use for the sandy part of the beach swipe are all the same consistency as each other and for the pouring medium I'll pop that up on the screen for you and it's also down in the description box below um, the pouring medium is Valspar Base C and Josonia 3 to 1 ratio mixed in with the paints to a very runny consistency. Now I had to spray a bit of water in there as well so that it would give it that kind of fluid uh, consistency that we need to pour over the canvas. Okay so I'm just going to go through the colours with you. So starting with this one, this, if you can see that, is a mixture of Deco Arts Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold mixed in with a little bit of gold emit which is De La Rowney. so there's half and half of that in there. And the next up here, this beautiful coppery colour, is a metallic colour, which is Iridescent Copper by Pebio. And then next up here, at the back there, we have another uh, kind of a deep yellow colour, and that's Gold Ochre by Amsterdam, if you can see that. And then finally, the lighter yellow, the sandy light yellow there, which has got a bit of um, pearlescent uh, glimmer in it, is Arteza Pearl Golden Hour, which is a mica colour, okay, so semi-transparent, that one. So those are the colours that I'm going to um, use for my beach part, you know, the sandy part of my beach swipe. Um, and then we'll move on to the other colours. Okay, so on to the colours for the uh, C part of the beach swipe. So, for the C part we have this colour, you can see that. Okay, so also to a very runny consistency and these colours here are one, two, three, four, five, six colours and then a pearl white and a, a titanium white here as well and um, TRP Mermaid in there um, and this one is TRP Sapphire mixed in with a bit of... Um, Phthalo blue. Um, so these colours are all mixed up with my pouring medium, which is one part De La Rowney pouring medium, two parts PVA, which is craft glue, one part water, um, and they mix roughly about 60 to 40 paint with a couple of sprays of water in them, okay, to make them much more fluid than they were. Okay, so as again, you can see that the colour runs right back in without really leaving a mound or a trace. Um, and they're all that consistency, they're all equal consistency. Okay, so the first colour here, you can see this, is um, Amsterdam Phthalo Green, okay, um, and it's lightened up a little bit because of the craft glue that I added. And then the next one here is actually Amsterdam Phthalo Blue, so those are the two phthalos, and that's this one here. 
And then next up we have we have Pebio Phalo Cyanine Blue or Cyanine Blue even and that's this one here. Um, and then next up we have um, next up here is Primary Cyan. Yeah, Royal and Lang Nickel this one is. Um, and then finally the last two this one here is actually Pearl Sky Blue by Arteza this colour here and that's 50-50 mixed in with uh, this little piggy pigment from fluidarc.co um, which is actually blue eyes okay so this is blue eyes mixed in with this one so it's got a beautiful little shimmer to it okay um, and then finally the final one last but not least this one over here is a Pebio blue iridescent blue green okay um, and that's been mixed in with a little bit of TLP Mermaid to give it, again, that beautiful shimmery uh, mica shine that always brings out, uh, or comes out in the painting really well. Um, in terms of these two, I'm just going to show you the paints for those. This one here, and this has had a little bit more water in it, so it's slightly thinner than the other paint consistencies um, across here. Same pouring medium, by the way, for these two whites. Um, this one here is actually De La Rowney graduate acrylic pearl white okay um and this one is just the amsterdam titanium white mixing with the same pouring medium to a slightly runnier consistency so that it would spread over the colors um here are little pieces of um plastic um that i've cut up really to use the swipe tools um and different sizes really so hopefully they'll come in use today um and i have been using those as well um, and they're really really quite efficient um, finally, um, just to let you know, this is a swipe colour that I'm going to use. So these two whites I'm just going to use as part of the main colours in the C. And then this is a swipe colour. Again, all this is is um, the same pouring medium as these C colours, um, but slightly more water with Amsterdam titanium white paint. Okay. Um, and again, I mentioned these, this is mixed up um, with the same pouring medium as these. And this is TLP Mermaid on its own. Um, slightly old that paint but it's still perfectly usable and then when we have this which is um beautiful beautiful color um and i think i mentioned that was sapphire from trp mixing with a bit of um phalo cyanine blue so it's got that extra blue tinge to it as well so it's very very um vibrant okay so that's all the colors um i hope you can see that and we're going to get to the painting part now so let's get messy one thing I forgot to mention is that actually um, I've added one drop of silicon into um, these colours here, the ones with a PVA glue mixture and a um, De La Rowney pouring medium mixture with water, all of these, um, but not no silicon in the beach um, colours um, and no silicon in the swipe colour. Okay. So I will be doing a CA swipe for the beach and a silicon swipe for this C just to experiment with two different techniques. So only the C colours here across here in the silicon cups have got any silicon in them, just one drop by the way. And the silicon oil that I used for this one was Montmartre Silicon Oil um, Premium, okay, if you can see that. Right, there we go. So we're going to do something slightly different for this ocean pour. As you know, I love doing different things and experimenting. And I really want to use this. I've had this for a while. It's structure paste. Um, I've not really ever used it before. It's grained and white. So I thought what would be wonderful is for the beachy part of the sandy part of this pour, I could have some sort of texture underneath my colours. Now, that does mean I have to pop this on the canvas um and then shape it and then what i'll have to do is wait for it to dry before we can move on and paint it but that's fine um so we're gonna have a go at that so i'm just gonna open this up um the brand is viva deco art line structure paste um and i got this from amazon by the way in case you guys want to invest in some and like i said i've never used it before so i'm just going to use a um a small palette knife and i'm going to start layering this on okay so i might do a very small pencil outline uh, where I want my beach to be. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should we do it? Should we just do quite a fair bit of it as beach? Hmm. 
Ja, det er en lyst. How about that? What does that look like to you? Yeah? I think that's nice and flowy. I'll try and do that. I think that's fine. So let's get this stuff on there. And I have no idea how this is going to look in the end, but it's nice just to like experiment and see what happens. I might need to stir this up. It's been sitting there for a while. I ordered it a couple of months ago now and didn't really know why I ordered it. I think I must have seen a video on YouTube and thought, oh, that looks good. I'll try and get some of that product and try this out. But then I forgot about what technique that actually was. So as all of us do, you know, in terms of hoarding things. So let's get this on here now. I'm just going to, I don't know, just layer it on, I guess. Um, if any of you watching have used this stuff before, do let me know in the comments what you used it for. It'd be lovely to hear off you. I'm sure you're, some of you are more experienced than me in using this stuff. So I'm just going to pop this right onto the canvas. There we go. And maybe right up to the edge. If you know me, I'll just get it everywhere. Um, Maybe I need to take it off the edge and make it thinner on the edge. And I've seen lots and lots of beautiful ocean pours by fellow artists and some big names in the, you know, in pouring art or in acrylic pouring art. And I've always thought I'd love to do a beach swipe, but I do want it to be slightly different um, and maybe incorporate something else. So this is my something else. And maybe it's already been done, I've just not seen it, but hopefully this will turn out the way I'm imagining it will. But if not, it's a nice way to find out what works and what doesn't work so well. I can't see why it wouldn't work. Um, so what I plan to do is just pop it all on there. And then once I've done that, I'll try and dab it so that it's not as smooth as it's going on now. I'm just trying to make sure that I've got it everywhere needs to go to begin with and this is the way I see art everything in stages um, you know you, you follow your heart but you also follow your head so you kind of do something and hope it works out but if it doesn't you're ready with your head to change things up and fix things and that's the brilliant thing about art is that you can always usually fix most problems that you encounter this is quite fun isn't it <laughs> right Nearly there. I might forward this, but then you won't hear me talking, so I'm not sure I will. Yeah. Right, I think I've got most of it on. And I might just see what I can do to give it some more texture like it's supposed to have. I'll just do this with my palette knife. Yeah, I think that's working really well. You, want it, you don't want it to look completely perfect. You want it to look a little bit messy. I'm going to just move this bit out because I know I have to put my white acrylic paint across here to give it that surf look, you know. The, and that won't work very well. There's a big ridge across the top of it, so let's just narrow it down. Gosh, this really is quite fun. It's funny because I, I thought, oh, no, I know, this week I'll just do a very simple pour. You know, just a pour, nothing else, no mixed media, uh, and go with that, keep it simple. Editing is simpler, doing it is simpler. Um, but then, as soon as I thought about doing a beach swipe, I thought, no, i got to have some real sand, or what feels like real grit and sand in there. So, yeah, I can't help myself, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, that looks really cool. So if I just show you this, can you see? Yeah, speckled look, lovely grainy sandy look. I'm going to pop this away and we'll be moving on. Yeah, I've got a heat gun. Okay, so this is a heat tool and I'm just going to try and dry this quicker. <laughs> Let's begin our beach pour. So we're going to start off with the sand here and I'm going to be using the colours that I showed you. So let's get the colours up front. So here they are. We've got four colours in total. 
um, varying uh, shades of yellow with a little bit of copper as well in there to give it that metallic look. So let's see what we should do. I think um, we'll start off with the lighter colours up top. So I've stirred that and I'm just going to start pretty much pouring it really and hope for the best. So let's move these up here a little bit and hopefully I won't drop them. Um, and I hope you can see that it is recording. Let's go for it. So I'm going to pop this here. I'm not going too close really to the top there. I might keep some back because I want to use it uh, to layer across the top. And then we'll add this colour here, which is I think the 24 karat gold mixed in with um, the inlet gold. Let's pop that across. I'll keep some of that back and then we'll go with this colour which is a lot more um, mustardy really um, and we'll put that across the rest of it so much easier just to pour it on like this isn't it there we go I uh, hope you guys are having a lovely day whatever you've been doing or wherever you are in the world thank you again for joining me on my channel and watching and I do hope this is um, enjoyable for you. Um, and then we'll try this coppery colour. I wasn't too sure about using this coppery colour because, you know, most beaches don't tend to have a coppery colour, really, do they? But maybe in the sun, some do, in the reflections of pictures you see. I'm not going to probably put much of this on. I might just sort of use my stirring stick to put in some lines. Now that, that does look like a lot of paint um, and you're probably thinking gosh that's a lot of paint but um, we'll try and swipe and see what falls onto the silicon mat below when I'll be able to use that and use it for jewellery when that paint skin dries and i put more across the bottom probably need to put across here because the rest of it will be swiped off mostly now I said I didn't want to put too much on but I can't help myself it's one of those things you can't help yourself when you start layering on colours. So I might just dab into the little holes there to try and fill them up. There we go, I think that's enough. I might even have some paint left over to do a small tile. I think that's fine. A bit more there. there we go. Hope that's not too much. We'll put these back. I didn't need to use any of the other colours really, did we? Pop these back. Yep, might tilt it a little bit to begin with. Push it down. Make it a little sandy beach. Gonna pour it off this side a little bit. Make sure it's all on. You don't really want to do anything to that. I actually really like how it looks. It looks fantastic. I'm just gonna tap up, um, cover the sides a little bit. There we go. It looks really beautiful. Might pop some bubbles. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on there for a bit, and I know there's some texture paste under there, and we'll sort that out in a minute. But I'm gonna start doing the blues, the sea. Okay, um, so let's start with the colours that we have. No, I'm gonna put the lighter colours across the bottom. So we're gonna start off with maybe this colour. Okay, so the this is the fluorescent colour, the pale colour even. Um, I'll leave it back for that. Um, I'll just start with a light colour, I think, to begin with. This is the sky blue. Let's just put it all over, I think. Oops, it back. Um, and then this down. In lightness, this one, the turquoise colour. And it's sometimes nice when you can get two colours, uh, two paintings even, after one mix. And it's possible, you never know. Put more of this across the middle of here. Okay? 
Um, I'll put this across the top, most part, mostly. I'll give it a little bit at the bottom, but mostly across the top here. Here, deep thing of blue. There we go. And this lovely thing of green. I really love this colour. It's lovely and dark, but it has lightened up a bit. Put it across the top here. Maybe just streaks of it rather than. I like this kind of circular movement. There we go. Now, what haven't we done? We haven't done the white, so we haven't. I think we could do a bit more of this colour down the bottom because it is really pretty, this baby blue. Or sky blue, whatever it was. Been fantastic. Okay, so what I've just added here, I didn't realize I, I've stopped recording, was this beautiful uh, mermaid TLP. As you can see, I put it all over. And also, this beautiful, beautiful color. See this? Um, and I've just managed to trickle that all over as well. Now, that is an awful lot of paint, you're probably thinking. But, you know. Nothing's thrown away here. We are going to pop the bubbles now and then quickly pop the bubbles because I just mixed up these paints very recently. Perfect. Okay, so the plan now is, as long as you're watching, um, to add my white. Okay, so this, as you can remember, this is my. Amsterdam titanium white and I'm going to probably pour it because it's just easier across the where the waves um, meet the sand. So let's do this. I'm going to double it up because we're going to need a lot so we need to do two swipes here remember. We need to do one going down and one going up. We do need a lot of white, I think. Do you like this white? It's going to look awesome, I hope. Again, I don't really know what it's going to look like. Um, with pouring out, you never do know. It's part of the trouble with it. It's not something you can always control or predict. But we will see what happens. I think that's way enough. What do you think? Okay, so now, what shall I use? Should I use my swiping tools? To these, or should I use tissue paper. Now, we'll do the sea first, I think. Okay, so we'll go over to the sea and we'll do the sand second. So I'm not sure how that's going to end up with the texture base underneath it. So let's do the sea and for the sea I'm going to use um, wet kitchen paper. It's just easier, I think. Um, and then with the swipe tools and I'll do the... Well, actually, maybe I'll use the swipe tool for this. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Played by ear. Okay, so let's start this. How nerve wracking is this every time, hey? No matter how many times you do it. So we'll start with in the middle. Yep, what do you think? Yep, in the middle. Nothing ever felt as good or as easy as when we were young. Oh, oh, oh. Though I felt misunderstood, it was a pleasure running away with you. We were just children acting like a doll, crazy, naive, bold, and carefree. We didn't fall apart harder than we did. Now they keep us on speaking terms. We grow and we learn. I have no regrets. 
it's only for gays Oh, a big thank you to life For giving us end Oh, when the timing's right, there's no wasteland Oh, we were just children Acting like a doll so, my lovely viewers, this is the wet result. So, you can see that the acrylic hasn't quite settled yet on that texture in the sand. Hopefully, by the time that it dries, um, it will sink in. You can see the beautiful greens, emeralds, pearls, um, the shimmery um, webbing on the ocean there. Um, and you can see the beautiful white froth of the surf. Um, look at how stunning that looks. I really hope you like it. My next step will be to show you the dry result and in part two of next week on the Fluid Art Express I will be embellishing this wonderful beach swipe um, so make sure you come back to see that one and it will be completely transformed believe me so make sure you don't miss that if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see all my videos um, it will show you this is the final outcome everybody, it's got beautiful colours in the sea there, lots of lovely white lacing. Um, if you look at it close up, you can see all those cells and the greens and blues, you can see the surf. And then the beautiful grainy texture of the structure paste that I used in the beach part. And I am going to embellish this in part two, so do stay tuned. But it is absolutely beautiful piece here and I'm really really quite happy with it and I hope you like it let me know what you think thank you for being on this journey with me love to you all and up next is venom fluid art so let's pop over to his channel and see you on the live